Hello everyone, welcome back. This is a tutorial video on how to calculate the values of the graph on the instrument viewer. Your graph may consist of one method step or more than one method steps. If your graph consists of more than one method steps to be calculated, you can isolate the part of the graph of one method step. For instance, this graph here consists of more than one method step. To isolate the part of the graph of one method step, you have to click curves on the ribbon and select heat flow from the drop down menu. Once you click on heat flow, the step select window will appear. From here, you can see the list of steps within the graph. Select the method step that you want to isolate and click OK. As you can see, the part that you want to isolate will be in a darker color. From here, click full scale from the shortcut buttons to focus on the isolated part of the graph. We cannot calculate the value of the peak area if you have one that need to be calculated. This is how the peak area looks like where it has a shape like a bell. Now, you can begin to calculate the peak area. First, click Calc on the ribbon and select Peak Area from the drop-down menu. Once you have clicked Peak Area, the Peak Calculation window will appear. From here, you have to set up the peak calculation window. First, you need to drag the limit lines on the graph in order to capture the peak curve. Once you have captured the peak curve, on the peak calculation window, check Onset, and and Peak Height boxes. Then, you can just click Calculate. The values of the calculation will appear nearby the peak area. You can drag the values to the appropriate places. Now, your calculation for the peak area is complete. Let's proceed on the TG calculation. This is how the TG looks like, where it has a zigzag shape. If your TG appears small on the screen, you can enlarge it by highlighting the TG and double click on it. And if you want to see the full isolated part of the graph again, you can just click Full Scale. You can enlarge the TG or peak curve whenever you found the curve is too small on the screen. Now, you can begin to calculate the TG. First, click Calc on the ribbon and select TG from the drop-down menu. Once you had clicked TG, the glass transition window will appear. From here, you have to set up the glass transition window. You need to drag the limit lines on the graph in order to capture the TJ. Once you had captured the TJ, you need to check the onset and end boxes. After that, you can just click calculate after confirming all the data are set correctly. Once you click calculate, the adjust tangent window will appear. From here, you need to adjust the tangents to form two parallel lines on the graph like this. Now, you can just click Calculate. The values of the calculation will appear nearby the TG. You can drag the values to the appropriate places. If you had enlarged the graph before, click Full Scale from the shortcut buttons in order to view the full graph again. Now, you can check whether you still have a calculation to be made on the isolated part of the graph. If there is no more calculation to be made, you can display all the method step in the graph again. To display all the method step, you need to click curves on the ribbon and select heat flow from the drop down menu. From the step select window, click select all and click OK. Now, all the method steps of the graph are displayed on the instrument viewer. Okay, that is all for this tutorial. See you again in the next tutorial video.